I want to add a little light effect when those graphics happen in this movie. I also want to show you spot mode, and so let me combine those two. So over in the bin, I've got a little crash symbol. I can hold down the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a PC, and audition it from the bin. All I did to get this other region was to trim off the back end. It's the same beginning. We know that in slip mode, if I pick this up and drag it to the timeline, it's going to drop wherever I leave the cursor. We know that if I'm in shuffle mode and I pick it up, it's going to jump and fill the first available space, which in this case is the left wall of the session. In spot mode, if I pick it up, it gives me kind of a, are you sure type of window. And so it lets me do precise placement on any bar and beat, any time code, or any feet and frames, or even samples. So in this case, I want bar five right on the downbeat, and then I'll grab another iteration of it and drag it to bar six, and another onto bar seven, and another onto bar eight. So you don't have to be precise with where you drop it. Now I could do this in grid mode and it would snap too, but I wanted to show you spot mode because it's not every day that we're dragging cymbal crashes to downbeats. More often, I'll use my ball and bat example from earlier, where we want the sound effect to happen right at the crack of the bat. We find that frame and put it in. Let's go from bar four and see how those worked out. Okay, so happy with the placement there. That's spot mode. It really doesn't do any more than that. It just lets you have an intermediate window when you pick it up so that you can decide exactly where you want to put this particular sound. Now, it's great for cymbals on downbeats, but think about taking the chorus of the song and creating a region for the chorus of the song, putting it in the clip bin, and then picking it up and dragging it to bar 62 or wherever the next chorus of the song happens. Let me audition this little cymbal crash. I want to show you one other thing here, that in triangle mode, in my pencil, if I go to volume, I can draw a volume move so that I get an effect like this. I really just switched my grid to 30 second notes. When you're using the triangle or the square, any of these non-linear shapes, it will draw according to the grid. It's really got kind of a vibrato effect on it. Now that's pretty extreme. Let me jump back to the beginning and show you that I can do a not quite so extreme volume move on it. In other words, not so much up and down, not as big as that, but just more like that. Let's try that. And let's hear it in context. So that's when the pencil tool really comes in handy, when you're trying to do volume moves that are on a beat and precisely to the same spot up and down each time. I challenge you to do a move like that with automation, that fast and that precisely. That's a very handy tool for adding a little bit of depth to a sound. This way it's got some energy to it. So one more thing to show you in spot mode, and we'll do that in the next movie.